So first of all, what is a plasma? A plasma is just a gas, just like the gas in this room, but instead of neutral atoms, we've added enough energy to the gas to make it so hot that the electrons, at least some of them, become detached from the atoms. And so you have free electrons running around the plasma, and then you have the positively charged ions left behind from the atoms that were there, and you have these charged uh, species running around in the plasma there. So it's essentially an electrically conductive gas. It's a gas that conducts electricity. Now, if we stop there, it doesn't sound so interesting. Let's dive in a little bit deeper. Let's take a look at some examples. The first example is the famous plasma ball, you can see. So in this uh, little image here, you can see the tendrils of pink and bluish kind of light reaching out, and you can notice sort of the, ins the instability there. In other words, the plasma is not a, a fixed object. It's always moving and dancing, and we're going to talk about why that is it turns out that this behavior happens because of the charge nature of the electrically conductive gas. So because it's charged is why it moves like this. And that actually makes it really hard to contain a plasma for something like a fusion reactor. That's what makes the challenge of nuclear fusion actually so difficult. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.